You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. We have the Rice Krispie Snack Shop. I know everybody's excited to see a maker, so we thought, let's do this one next. This was brought to you by Hasbro, the makers of the Easy Bake Oven. So this kit doesn't take any stovetop or cooking, but you do need Rice Krispies, butter flavor pan, and water, and you mix that in with their mixes, and eventually, we're going to form some Rice Krispie treats and decorate them with frosting and sprinkles. That's exciting. So let me get the Pam and the Rice Krispie treats out of the way. All right. Let me get the box in there. So as you could see, we have Snap, Crackle, and Pop on the box. And they're getting pretty excited there. You've got uh, Pop over here with the chocolate. Crackle, he's just kind of doing a dance. And Snap is pouring in some kind of milk, but doesn't actually use milk. Let's flip it around. And there you have it. They found a place for the happy kids. Now look at her. I was checking out the box earlier and I noticed she's not even watching what she's doing. She's decorating, but looking over here and smiling. Look at that. Pretty creative and pretty good for her to be able to do that. So the next thing we need to do is actually just get into the box and show you all the pieces. So let's do that. Okay, so there's molds. Oh, look at all that. So there it all is. Let me uh, get the box out of the way. Tilt this down. Now this all needs to be washed. So we got it used. So we're going to take all the pieces like this, wash them out. This is your mixing bowl. Here is your decorator with the decorator tip. And there's two tips I see. This goes with this. Uh, this looks like it needs to be washed out, so we'll do that. So let me do that next here. Ooh, look at that. Now is that colorful and exciting, huh? It's like the cover of the box, but right there to set up on a display. So here's the instructions. Let me take a quick look here. So first thing, assembly, and then put it all together, and then we could get started actually creating the Rice Krispie snacks. So let me get this all washed. And we'll come back and set it up for you. All right, we're back. Everything was washed in hot, soapy water. And then everything was hand-dried. So we're all set to go. I do have some mixes. I didn't show you that earlier. Here's the sprinkles, the vanilla frosting, and the marshmallow mixes. Now remember, this is from 2002. So this set, not too easy to find. We got ours on eBay. Check that link in the description. Here is the decorator. So this just went into here. Like that. Now you can put a tip on, but they also show you storage for the tips in this part of the system. So let's do that. We'll leave that in there like that. So we're kind of setting it up as we go. Here is the rolling pin which presses them down. That goes there. And then we have a couple measuring bowls and a measuring, well we have a measuring bowl and a measuring spoon. We'll set those off to the side with the mixes. And then our shapes. Now we have a star like a half moon, and then a rectangle. So we'll set those there, we'll put one off to the side. Now the main thing is this mixer here. We're gonna mix everything in, so let's get that set up. So basically you're gonna get your paddle in here. That's gonna pop out one end. You're gonna put that through there. And then this has a, like a plus sign. So you just connect that to that. So that locks that in there, okay? Then you take this other side, which is two pieces, see, we just put it together, put that on that, now that's going to go on this main unit like this, because this is where we're going to actually mix our Rice Krispie treats in here like this. Let me show you that. Got it? And then the main thing, which I think is one of the coolest things, is this piece here, which slips in the back, and now we have the whole rice be, rice crispy rice pea. We have the whole rice pea set, rice crispy treat set. Let me get the box out of here. I was just kind of using that for a visual reference. Move the instructions. So how is that? Now that looked like a fun set. So I'll put the instructions down there below and we'll get set here. What do we need to do? Everything's clean and ready. So step one is turn mixing cylinder set the door. 
is at the top. Open door and coat inside of cylinder with non-stick spray. All right. So we're going for it. Now they also say at the same time, coat the three molds. So we'll just get those here. Let me get this in here. Ooh, nice. Molds, mold. Let me set this up here. And it does smell like butter. Okay, so those are all coated. We're gonna set these over here. That's done. And then it says, uh, ooh, add three quarter cups of Rice Krispies. So let me get my Rice Krispie box. Let's get this open here. Ooh, look at that. Do you like Rice Krispies? I'm just going to pull them all out of the box. I set the box back here. I'll open it. Let me get my directions a little closer. Now, there's no test kitchen here, so this will be a first time experience for me. So put this in here. And here's the third quarter of a cup. All right, let me get that out of the way. And then it says, let's see. Close door and rotate handle lightly coat Rice Krispies cereal with cooking, spr cooking spray. It also says you could use Cocoa Rice Krispies. That's pretty cool if you got Cocoa Rice Krispies. Let me give that a mix. Okay, so they don't give it time, but I could see that it soaked up a lot of the butter. So then it says, let's see, pour a packet of marshmallow mix. So let me get that. We're doing it. We're doing it, folks. So here is the marshmallow mix. We're going to pour that in there. Let's just give it a sniff test. Mmm, smells like powder. No, just kidding. So we'll put that in there. It says pour a packet in. Close it up. Let me get you in there real tight here so you can kind of see what's going on. We'll turn it this way. There you go. So it says mix this again. So they just want it well coated. Now it's hard to see now because it's definitely got a lot going on. So we'll just give it some time. I can see it in there, it's pretty well coated. Yep. We'll just go a little longer, cause it's fun. Now the next step says add one and a half teaspoons of water to mixing cylinder. So we'll have to do that next. Okay, I'd say we're pretty well mixed there. Let me get my water in here. Let's zoom out just a little so you can see me doing that. All right, so one and a half. I'm going to show you this. Uh, here, let's do it this way. Okay, here is the spoon. So what they're saying is there's a, a half line. So there's a full line and then a half line. So we go one and a half. There's the one. Ooh, it's, it's crispling. You hear that? It's popping. Crispling. Is crispling a word? I don't think so. Then it says mix. Let's see, half the half a teaspoon. Okay, close uh, close door and rotate handle about 20 times in one direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that was 21. And then it says uh, then 20 times in the opposite direction. So it's thoroughly mixed. One. What number was that? I know everybody's counting. Okay, I went more than 20. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. So here we go. Now it says place a mold on there. Now we pre-sprayed them, remember? Okay, so they have the spray. And then we're actually going to 
dump it out now onto into our little molds. Let's do that. So I'll put it underneath. I'll show you where it looks like from this direction. So we're kind of filling it up here, see this? To a certain point, because we're going to press it. So let me get a little more in there. Okay, that's good. So we'll take a little bit of this. We're going to transfer it to another mold for later. So we'll set that off to the side. Now we have that one filled pretty good. And then it wants you to roll this out. We're just going to do it right here. Oh, nice sound. I'm going to add a little more in there too to make it a little pressier, right? We want it pressier. Do that again. So they want to top them off. So we're going to go leave this mold now as done because they're going to want us to use the rest of the mixture. Let's get another mold in there. Let me zoom this out a little bit. I know it's a lot going on here. That's a little crazy. Let's just push it out with our paddle. Okay. So now this one's set. It's okay if it's over because you want to push it down. So let's just roll that one. Looks crispy. It sounds crispy too, right? Hence the name, Rice Krispie Treat. So let's get this one out of the way. Oops, I'll set that, leave that there. We'll get the next one. It's kind of making a fun mess. So now we'll put the last one in. And we'll fill it up. Let me see, it's a better angle here. So you can kind of see what's happening here. How's that? Okay, so that's filling up. We'll turn this out of the way. Now they want you to keep that rest of that mix there because you're going to top them off just to make sure you're pressing good because the whole thing here now is to press them in tight. Now remember, this is not the stovetop version that uses real marshmallow and they're very sticky. We might have to adjust these, but we'll see. So now we have those set. Let's see, next step. So we're on six. So with rolling pin, flatten the mixture. Place molds under cylinder again and top them off with remaining mixture. Turn handle back and forth to get the mixture out. Use back of hand uh, back and handle spoon to press mixture firmly into corners of molds. And then allow to set for five minutes. So let me just get the rest of this mix out. We'll take this one. We'll set it down here. Because we still have to do some pressing. We'll take this one. We'll set it here. So there's two, see them? And what I'll probably do is just clean up my tabletop. I want to get these pressed in real good. Now here's the last of it. Okay, so now we are totally empty. So they want you to take the back of your spoon now and press in. And you can kind of see now, it is starting to look. Here, let me get you a better shot. How's that? Much better. So now I'm going to press the shape in. So what you're doing is really just crushing the cereal. Let's get that all in there. So there's one. There is two, and then number three, this is the rectangle. Okay, so there's all three now, pressed. So what I need to do is let this sit for five minutes. I'm going to clean up, come back, and go to the next step. All right, we're back, we're all set. We clean up a little bit, we got our molds prepped a little bit more, we actually pressed them just a little bit before the five minutes of resting, took all the stuff that was on the counter, put them in the molds, they're good to go. I wanna show you the base here. 
Now they have this pretty neat. It's kind of set up for your decorating area. You could put sprinkles here. They show frosting and sprinkles. So let's get some sprinkles in there. Here we have the ones they gave us. So let's cut that open. And they show them in this container. And then they show them in this container. So that's good to go. And then this one here, they actually show frosting. And this is the place for the spoon. So we're just going to leave that there for now. So let's get to actually getting the frosting ready. So here we go. It was just a half a teaspoon of water and the frosting mix. So it says pour contents of frosting packet into your mixing bowl. So let's do that. And then a half teaspoon of warm water. Now remember it's the second line on this. But you could adjust it if you want it thinner it says. So there's the second line. And then mix this up. So it is getting thicker, thickier. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. It's getting thickier and pastier. It's getting thicker and pastier. You can tell right away it's already doing that. Now they show that being spooned into your decorator, but it sure doesn't seem like it makes a lot, so we might not be able to decorate all three. And the picture actually shows you pouring it in. So maybe we'll just make it a little moister, how's that, just so we can have that little effect. I'm just going to go a tiny, tiny bit. There we go, so that we can do that. Nice. Okay. That looks better. There, now that's going to pour in. So let's get it ready. And I'm going to switch this. I think I want to do just the, the uh, round. It's like a open hole point. Oh, I wish it was more frosting. You probably use your own cake frosting too if you want. You know, whatever you have around the house, if you don't want to use this. There we go. Just gonna pour it all on there. Go for broke on that. I think we got most of it there. Might have to get a finger in there too. I don't know. Not bad. So there you go. So the next step now is to get our treats out of the mold. So let's do that. And you know what I'm going to do here too? I've got a red frosting, like a red topping. Sorry. I'm going to add that to where they wanted the frosting to give us another topping. Okay, that's enough there. They want you to turn these over, push them out. So there is the half moon. Then here is our rectangle, looks nice. And our star, which I think will be the hardest to get out. So let me make sure we got all of our points. Sticking just a little. It's a little drier on that one, but that's okay. Still held its shape okay. All right, so there you go. So now my point is ready. So let me make sure I get some on each here. I think I'm going to... Spread that out. Then maybe this star, I'm just going to put it on. Doesn't look like we have much frosting left, actually. That's it. That's a bummer. I'd probably have to get more out of here. So let me get some fingers going. Get some on that. 
Okay, and then we'll take some from here. Yeah, I would say definitely need more frosting. But at least the half moon looks good, huh? Not enough. Not enough. We only had one packet with the kit, so we're just going to have to run with that. And let me get some sprinkles going. I think I'm going to do this one here. That looks good. And I said I was going to use the red, so I'll use it on this. And then I'll do some on the star. And I'll mix that one up. Okay, so there you go, decorated. Now let me bring this in here. Found this on eBay also. It's a Rice Krispie Treat container. So we're going to store them in here for the kids later, but I'm going to eat one. So I'll put these two in here. I'll eat the star. Then we have our Rice Krispies set to go. Something to eat later. Pretty cool. So let me give this one a taste. Might as well. Gone this far. Got to eat it. Going to hear some chewing, everybody. And it's definitely crispy. And I'm going to say it's pretty good. I would give this probably every once a scale. Compared to a regular Rice Krispie Treat now, totally different. Because that's cooked on the stovetop with marshmallow. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, yeah. And then I found this too. Check it out. It's Rice Krispie Treat Lip Balm. So I'm going to give it a shot here. I've just had a Rice Krispie Treat. So I know the flavor. Let's just see if it matches the lip balm. Well, I'm going to have to cut this. Hold on, let me get my scissors and trim it. Okay, so that is Rice Krispie Treat Lip Balm. Sniffing it, and you know, I got to say, having it on your lips and eating it, Pretty good. So that is the Rice Krispies Snack Shop. I'm going to say overall, pretty cool, pretty fun. Add a little more frosting though to make the decorating even more fun. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Hope you like this maker set. Subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. All right. Just wanted to do a quick video inset here because, you know, I wanted to show them up close for future reference. So you can see them. Let me hold one up here. So they hold their shape pretty good. Kids are going to love these later. So before they devoured them, I wanted to give you one last look at the half moon and the rectangle. I ate the other one, of course. And there's the container that I bought off of eBay to kind of tie it all in and make it fun. And thanks for watching again. Sorry for the video inset. Later. This video is now over. If you want to see more videos in this series, check the description, search the channel, or click here. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.